today and just let you know to give it to God. accomplishments give it to God and when you give it to him leave it there and just remember if you say and re repeat the same prayer the next day tomorrow that means you didn't give it to God and you didn't even believe in your prayer because you gotta give it to him and you gotta know that he didn't fix it he didn't heal it he gonna um, make it happen. And if you believe in that, it will happen. But you have to also believe that it's not on your time. It's on his time. See, that's what comes. That's the problem comes with so many people is that we, we believe in it's supposed to happen on our time. We give it to God and we think it's supposed to happen the next day. It don't happen like that because you have to put in the work so if you want if you want that new house and you ask god to provide you with that new house are you working towards that new house if you want that promotion at your job or you want a new job are you working to obtain that new job or that promotion he didn't say quit your job until I bless you with another job. Now you now you're being foolish. Or you want a new house. So you're not gonna appreciate that apartment or that house that you're living in. You're not gonna appreciate so you're gonna stop taking care of it until you get something better. Well you're not even showing God that you're putting in the work, but you want him to bless you when you don't even appreciate what you have. You gotta show God that you appreciate what you have. And trust me, he will bless you. But you have to put in the work. No type of success comes without any type of work. No one out here became successful, became rich, whatever the case may be, without putting in some form of work. Some, you might say, was, you know, they... They went through their family, you know, their family was rich, was passed on to them. Somebody put in some work, right? Hello? So you have to put in some type of work in order for good things to happen. But you have to also, you know, you got to sit here and leave this situation to God and let him do what he do best. And he will make sure that all your needs and all your wants is taken care of. Blessings will overflow. But our problem is, is that we want it right, right now. And it doesn't happen that way. You have to have some patience and you have to keep on working, putting in the work in order for it to happen. But... You know, starting on Mondays, even though each day you're supposed to pray, but on Mondays, we know we're about to tackle another week. On Monday, say a special prayer before you walk in that building at work, before you start that day off. Just say that extra prayer because in that extra prayer should be the strength to endure your weakness, you know to overcome it you know because all kind of fights all kind of situations gonna come knocking at your door to discourage you from doing right to discourage discourage you from cursing out that that uh co-worker you know so you have to sit here and know how to fight off that enemy you got to be like no what weapon formed against me shall prosper and you gotta if you got to do one of those uh like on that up uh, like on the um movie 
And you know, you gotta put up one of them. <laughs> you gotta put it up and be like, eh, that the devil is a lion, you know. <laughs> Uganda, you know, you got to do what you got to do, you know, but you got to sit here and be able to fight it off, you know. My daughter, she have a trying job dealing with dealing with folks and she makes sure she say a special prayer before she go in the building because she know all kind of things gonna come at her and you know she got them maintain and i know teachers go through it i know so many people at different positions they go through it and they got to sit here and be like you know sometimes just people be making you be like woosah if it won't a God, if God won't in my life, woo! But sometimes I know it just be, it be a little rough, you know? So, but you gotta know how to just say that extra prayer and to fight it off and that come that Monday. Mondays is those days where, cause you know so much is gonna be coming at you throughout the week. But say that extra prayer. If you gotta say that extra prayer every day, but just make sure you say it on Mondays cause it's gonna come Cause you want to be able to make it to the end of the week so say that say that extra prayer for what comes against you is not gonna prosper you know we go through so much in doggone life and you know people just always complaining about something you know when folks call me and want to keep on complaining every time they call it's about some type of complaint you know, I don't know why God picked me. I can't, I'm always struggling. I always can't pay my bills, living from paycheck to paycheck. You know what? So you think you're the only one going through. How about go on each one of these busy corners and ask those people that uh, got them signs up? I mean, <laughs> evidently they going through something. <laughs> they need money too. So you ain't the only one, so stop it. Stop it. Try to fix your problem. Stop worrying about what somebody else is doing, you know, and, and, and try to fix your problem. If that job that you at is not able to provide you with enough money, well, get a second job, you know, or find something that you can do from home. Find a little side hustle that you can do. And when people say hustle, it, you know, it's the dumb mentality that always got to be like thinking somebody saying something illegal. People's out here hustling, doing all kinds of stuff. You can hustle cutting grass. It's a, it's, called, it's a side hustle. Find a side hustle, something that you like to do. And on your days off, you can do them to make some, you can do that to make some money. There's so many ways you can do to make some money or something that you like. God gave all us a gift. So that's something that you can put in to um, do on your off days or off time to make a, you know, to make a little extra uh, money. But, you know, but stop always complaining with the woe is me mentality because that's not going to fix anything. You have to stop worrying about what someone else is doing because those same people that you think got it all they going through stuff them own selves because some of them is so busy trying to be better than the next person they got that has money now they are they worrying they self to death to try to pay that mercedes car payment or that tesla car payment you know they going that big mansion um uh house note they going through stuff they own selves you know they right you don't even know what they going through robbing people to pay for living off their credit cards things that you don't know what someone else is going through so don't never think these people that's riding around in luxury cars or living in big houses all of them don't have it going on they trying to make ends meet to stay afloat just like you are but you busy complaining and you know what they doing they keep making it happen because they believe in what they are doing so they're gonna keep on making it happen and when you complaining 
Stop always wanting to complain to Sarah, John, Paul, Susan, Harry. Stop complaining to somebody, these uh, these people. Stop complaining to them. Give it to God. Because Susan, Dick, Harry, Paul, John, Linda, they ain't going to help you pay a god dog on thing. Because you know why? Because they got their own bills. They got their own problems. So they ain't trying to sit here and help you. You know. Because I'm good to tell you. I give you. I, I feed you. <laughs> but I ain't got no money to give you. You know, one of those type things. I mean, people got their own things going on. So it's like, give it to God. Let God fix your problems allow God to fix your problems because you keep on telling these same people your problems <laughs> and really you just calling them to vent because you giving them same people your problems and you still the, the next day the next week and the week after you still have that same problem that don't you so tell me what is that what have that solved not a thing so we have to learn how to know who to give our problems to, who to talk to, who, what, when, how. It's only one person, and that's God. He is a way maker. He will open up those doors that was once closed. We have to know to give it to him to solve our problems and to move forward on everything in life. Sometimes you feel like giving up. Trust me, sometimes I feel like giving up. I ain't talking about on life. I'm talking about, you know, having your own business. Everybody think you got it going on because you have your own business. People don't realize you got business expenses. And then you have your regular stuff. You still have your car note, your car insurance, rent, mortgage. You still have life bills. And then you have these business expenses that you have to pay to keep your business going and pay people and all this kind of stuff. So that comes a, a, a lot of responsibility. So don't think, cause you somebody had their own business, they got it going on because they going through also. You got to be a, mega, uh, a major type business to not, to not be having something going on. You gonna, you gonna be like, man, this is stressful. You know, you be wanting to hire people and, you know, then you got to worry about all this, all the pressure that comes with hiring people. N not just the money, it comes a whole lot of other things that you have to deal with when you're hiring people because everything has to, you have to make sure you're the unemployment ta tax and it's just all kind of, all kind of stuff that you have to make sure that is taken care of when hiring people. So it's a, it's a big responsibility. So I'm just letting you all know that everybody has something they're going through going through in life. So don't think that you're you, you, you the only one. Come on now. Stop with all the complaining. Give it to God and work hard whatever you do in life. I don't care if you work at McDonald's. I don't care if you're cleaning, cleaning someone's house or, or, or building, whatever your, you know, or, or you can be the CEO. I don't care what you're doing in life. If you want to do better, wherever you at right now in life, you have to make sure that you're putting in your all at that particular situation that you in right then and now because you got to show god you give it to god you let god i want a, a better job i want a different job i want a uh, you know i want a bigger house i want a better car you know i want more money whatever you ask god for he will supply you with more than what you ask for but what god has to do is see that you are putting in work and you appreciative of what you have at that moment. Whatever moment you in right now, you got to show God that you appreciate it in order for him to increase. He will always give you more. 
Cause no one better, no one better. No one, you gotta say no one greater, no one greater. I do that song. Ain't nobody, no one great out here, but God, honey. I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. I love that doggone song. Who sang that song? Y'all put that on, on in comments, who sang that song? No one, my, my brother, be try, <laughs> you know, my brother be trying to sing that song. He, he the one told me, he I, I heard that from, um something he had uh put on facebook because he was talking uh, he was talking about that um i knew that was eventually gonna happen he was talking about that song before we just know we have to know how to do better and give our problems and our situation to god and stop thinking that people is gonna solve it because they 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 can't. They have they they have their own problems they're trying to deal with. But I just wanted to let you all know, and I had to let everyone know that um, because I know people had saw my last video and I had um a pair of the Jordan Elevens. They have been um the Jordan Elevens have been sold and the um the yeezy slides have been sold so i just wanted to um let you know so you so no one can um ask me about them anymore of course i didn't get what i had paid for them you know it just like uh a pair just like a car when you drive it off the uh parking lot it decreases in value i don't care if you just woke i just woke them um wore them to the car the house to the car it don't matter they they are considered used but um it was just blessing someone that had wanted them and they couldn't pay the price that that you know is in the store so that was a blessing to me and i also um gave away the um i gave away the truck the remote control truck i blessed the kid with um that that was free that i was letting everyone know but um that's been um that's been taken care of as well so every all of those things has been um is gone now you're not gonna know what i'm talking about within a few seconds stay on my live stay on my videos for more than a few seconds give me a couple of minutes to talk to you hear me out okay but um i'm at the post office getting ready to do some um drop off some deliveries for my wonderful customers that's um constantly buying from me and new customers i thank you so much for your support it's always something that you can do to support me whether it's um i would grateful if you become a supporter for 4.99 a month and you you um, buy something from my store which is urban apparel and accessories plus.com if you don't buy anything is to follow me like my page you know um and share my page and i i really appreciate that but you all i want to thank you and you are always always in my prayers i hope nothing but the best for you and your family